fucked up over... Every motherfucking day, Blazkowicz. White America, though? Huh. They done packed up and given in. See, I guess they don't have the fighting spirit no more. Nah, they just do whatever the fucking Fuhrer tells them to do. That's baloney. They want to fight the Nazis just as much as we do. All they need is for someone to show them how. You know who's running the South after the Nazis took over? The Ku Klux motherfucking Klan, am I right? That's it. So what you gonna do? You gonna go down there and hold hands with them and build bridges and persuade them to join our cause? Get your head out your ass, Blazkowicz. Forget about the turncoats. Focus on the grassroots. I'm running on empty. Don't know how much time I got. Can't even stand up on my own accord no more. I've seen worse. Maybe you're right. Maybe the American people grew comfortable living under tyranny. Maybe the Nazis will still be running the show after I kick the bucket. Sister Grace is always right, brother. I learned that the hard way. <sighs> I don't know. But I know this. You take freedom away from the American people, you're playing with fire. And I intend to pour some gasoline. People gotta know they don't have to take this shit no more. If nothing else, that's what I'm gonna do before I go. See, that's what I'm talking about, Blaskowitz. You wanna strike fear in the Nazis? You wanna hit them hard for all to see? You wanna cause some real motherfucking havoc? Well, then you come to the right woman. So if you still got some Nazi fighting killing skills up in you, then guess what? I got a plan that's gonna send shockwaves throughout the nation. Oh, shit. Is this the one where I go home to Roswell? Show you right. <laughs> What do you think about this, Schmendrick? I think I got you now, my little goylem. Thanks, Hoss. I don't know, Maxilla. Well, well, well. So this is where all the decisions are made. We're gonna need a place to sleep nearby. This room looks empty. Super smash! Hey, white boy, I'm gonna need a new home for my people. Power outlets, radio room access, and a can. You got it? Yes, ma'am. Heck yes. What's up, boss? We sleeping in here. Got it, sister. All right, listen up, people. White boy here is gonna show you where to set up shop. After that, I want you to look around, find a place to bunk, get to know the boat for. And hey, best behavior, you dig? This way. You got nukes on this boat? Yes, we do. There's a stockpile of nuclear warheads downstairs in Section F. We need to get our hands on one of those. But we've sealed up the entrance to Section F. Because it's been flooded since the attack. Blast do you know how to swim? Yep. Baby, this isn't bad. What the fuck is this? I said, what the fuck is this, man? Is this a working toilet I see before me? Handle toward my hand? Yes, yes, this toilet can handle all sorts of waste, you know, feces, urine, vomit, as you name it. Do you have ass wipe? If by that you mean toilet paper, yes. Yet of course, we need to mind our rations a little bit, but uh, oh. there's ass wipe in oh, there. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my sweet God in heaven. A working mother flushing toilet. 
I never thought I'd see the day. It's just, I'm, okay, okay. I'm just gonna be in here for a minute. Good luck. This is good. Don't flog him! Hmm. You think you're smart, huh? Hmm. How about it? Yeah. Big shot? No, no, no. Hmm. Wait a minute. Make sauce. Make sauce. Oh, Shimshin! You should go to the shooting range. I've constructed a new section there. I call it the Kill House. I think you'll really like it. Yingawa! <clears throat> Did you see the new kill house set built in the shooting range? I tried it, but my time was like toilet. It feels not the same when targets not shoot back, yes? Meh. You only make excuses for shit bad shooting, Alessandro. Da cazzo. Me? I am musician, no warrior. I believe his time in kill house would be the vero fantastico, no? Yes. He is Satan's good, that guy. Hello for you. You okay?
Capitán. This new people, Capitán, I don't trust them. in the locker room. Grace needs a nuclear warhead from the stockpile in Section F. Captain? Hey, we need that nuclear warhead from Section F. Captain Blaskovich. <clears throat> Hello, Herr Blaskovich. Anya gave me this workstation so I would not be completely useless, as she said. But it was broken in the attack. Herr Bombote here said that he could fix my problem. So kind of him, yeah? Hey, big man. Try to work out what's wrong with this old girl. No easy pancake, but eventually I will find it, fix it, and turn her on again. Hmm. I wonder which opening I should stick this in. Thank you. 
Hey. After what happened in Section F, I keep my knife sharp. In case more Nazis are hiding somewhere. Hi, Captain. Did Baldo tell you about the smell? No, Habib. What smell is that? Baldo was in the corridor by the cantina when he smelled a foul stench. I thought Baldo told you when you were working in the hangar, my friend. No. Baldo was silent as a mouse. Yes, he I usually know. is around me. I tried telling him the story of how I survived the Normandy massacre, but I might as well have been talking to a brick wall. The corridor is next to Section 66G. We sealed the section off because of a gas leak. Maybe something is rotting inside. You gonna look into it, buddy? <sighs> I suppose so. Hello there. Sir? Hello, Captain. Can I get another one? Who said that? Uh, me? Oh, sorry. I was in a deep conversation. Uh, want another? Please. Good to see you, Captain. Ça va bien, Captain Blaskovitz? Ciao, Captain Blaskovitz. Pleasure, Captain Blaskovitz. for that nuclear warhead now. Got it. Keep me posted.
passion, the damp heat, the maddening itch. How did you endure it so gracefully? It's fitted so tight I struggle to breathe. Get inside, Caroline. You left the vacuum too great to fill. Your suit and the cause is all that keeps me upright. And Anya, her voice, her glory, it buckles me. Blaskowitz, got a heads up for you. Looking at the engineering map, there seems to be a defense system guarding the nuclear warhead stockpile. I count one, three, four, five, hibernation sarcophagi in the vicinity. Be ready for anything. Brace out. See shit. Need some light in here.
still copy. This is the conclusion I've reached. But whatever happens, she can't know she'll be rearing our babies alone. It's my burden to bear until it's hers. So here's what I'll do. Keep away from her. Let nothing show, Caroline. This dying is making me a liar.
tip top. Bring it to the old man. Set was it? I briefed him on the particulars. Careful, Shimshin, it's not the Tots cam. You, you okay? Well, let me look at you. A little pale. You nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'm asleep when I'm dead. Well, do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. Yes, Mr. Wright. Hey, have you ever talked to God? God? Yes, many times, many times. Oh, wow, man. And what he say? Still waiting for him to get that. Why? Oh, I was just hoping you could help me figure out something I saw earlier. Yeah, what did you see? I saw highways in the sky, you know? Don't touch it! Light just reaching across galaxies in it. It was like these, these symmetrical patterns of, of color, and I was just blasting through them at the speed of light, and mm -hmm. it, it was like reality. It, it warped in on itself, and it, somehow I was breaking through these dimensional barriers, and I could see everything, uh -huh. except I, I had ceased to exist. I mean, I was, but I wasn't I. This is very interesting. And, and from my vantage point, it, it, there were like these, these patterns of light that formed these roots that, that reached out into this infinitely colossal shape, like, like a geometric tree that was just bigger than the entire universe. And, and then I, I heard something. This, this voice just thundered at the center of my awareness in uh -huh. this, this being, this shape. It spoke, and it just said one word. What? Visitor. Visitor. Just that one word. Visitor. I... I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain. Amazing. This is... It's... A dot. The ten Sephiris. Oh, yeah. The ten. What? These visions. How did they come to you? Oh, like in, in a dream. In a dream. This is astonishing. This is astonishing! I have very little books on this subject in English. Oh, 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 oh. Now, listen to me very well. Study this. Very well. This is really important. Any revelation. Any observation, anything, come to me. You understand me, Ingo? Thank you. Right on, Seth. Right on, Mr. Wyatt. Oh, thank you. Right on. William? What? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Why won't you at least try? Because I'm fucking dying. The longer we keep pretending it won't happen, the harder it's gonna be. 
I'll be in the ground a week from now. You don't know that. What, you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know. Well, the toilet works. Sushi, are you still here? You need to haul ass back to mission control and get all your ducks in a row. Now, the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blaskowitz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas 1 is mission ready, all right? Hello, Captain. Yep. You got a nice boat, man. Fuck! What's up, Hattie? These fucking radiation scars on my belly. It's like a motherfucker lately. Takes all my willpower not to scratch. Well, they got this amazing scientist here. Set, I think it was. Go see if you got a soothing ointment or something. I don't know, man. Don't want to bother him with a fucking itch. And that fucking monkey cat? Whatever it is, it just freaks the shit out of me. And you thought we had a freak show with Super Smash back in New York. Ooh, remember when he told the story about his face standing on like a space aliens in the desert and ended up nearly dying of thirst and had to be hospitalized because of all the blisters? <laughs> Man, I tried so hard not to laugh. I miss New York sometimes. May have been a radioactive hellhole infested with Nazi pigs, but it was home, you know? At least it's safer here, sister. Every day we stand alive is a victory, you dig? <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Yeah.
Sir. Hola. Capitán. Captain, my friend. Oh, Shimshin. You should really take it easy, Ingele. Don't underestimate manual labor. Mr. Blaskovich, he is the mind. Makes room for big ideas to move in. Bet you have lots of weird dreams, right, Cap? All the things you've seen. Man. My philosophy teacher at Harvard would have gotten a kick out of this. I like to stick knife in the side of Nazi's stomach, just slightly to the right above the pelvis. Then, twist knife to destroy their insides. Doesn't feel too good, I can tell you. Like the approach, lady. Now why that place, specifically? I learned this when I was a child, when surgeon had to cut out my appendix. Pain was so sharp I felt like my eyes would explode. Didn't the hospital give you anesthetics or some shit? No, hospital in Muonia. Just barber man with bag full of knives who also was surgeon. After he asks, Ritva, why you don't cry? <laughs> I told him, why cry when someone is saving your life? Yeah, you're a badass motherfucker, Ritva. Yeah. Hey, saludos. Pleased to see you. How's it going? What is this you look like? I can't find any peanut butter, so I'm not really in a good mood right now. Mm. I was simply wondering if you would like to do something together later. What? I don't know. Mm. Recreational activity of some kind. Listen. And listen to me carefully, Sigun. I've looked through your records. Lists upon lists of atrocities. The Yosemite Massacre, burning of the Baltimore Ghetto, Nashville. Stop. I was just following my mother. I, no, I am not responsible. I did not commit any of those acts myself. Oh, if you don't trust me, then why don't you just kill me right now? <laughs> but you are there. You stood by and watched it all happen. And you did nothing. 
to stop your mother. She would have thought me weak. An embarrassment. I just... What? I just wanted her to be pleased with me. Oh. Oh, I'm nauseous now. And I don't know if it's the pregnancy or are you. Hello there. <laughs> the grub you got here on the boat is dynamite. Been living off of mildly radioactive canned goods for fucking forever. I'm sorry, Herr Blaskovich. I am too emotional. Mother always told me so. <laughs> You okay? Good to have new blood on board, Captain. Strength in numbers, yeah? to see you again. The voice tells me the great killer is falling apart. I'm surprised you returned from Manhattan in one piece, huh? Just appalling what happened to Manhattan. An open wound on the American soul that will never heal. Goodbye. Good evening, Captain Blaskovitz. What's that? Ready for anything, sir. Everything's just fine and dandy, Captain.
Greetings. Tombed. We're safe, Barbara. That's what matters. Don't you worry. It reminds me of when the bomb fell. Being deep underground, trapped, feeling Mama's hand, or well, holding on to it. Yeah, but on the upside, there's no radiation, no Nazis, hidden from the world. Heck, we're safer than we've been in like forever. I know I'm being irrational, Huey, but I can't control it. Feeling of being suffocated. It feels like I can feel the dust clogging up my throat, the heat from the first wave and the screams, the fucking screams, man. Hey, come on, girl. Just breathe. Try to breathe. <sighs> you okay, sister? I'm okay. I'm okay. I gotta get used to this. Ask me to put everything else out of your mind. Looks like I need more diesel. Fat and sassy. Should let Grace know. How's it going, Captain? What's up, man? Good to go. Thanks, man. I think it's time we had a gathering. Enter and pass it through the gates to attain to the 32 paths of wisdom. I, but in reference to what? Hey, little star man. Are you ticklish, buddy? Max! Jesus, Max! I didn't see you there. Look, Max, I'm doing some, like, really heavy reading here, and your little toy robot is just not compatible with that type of soul journey, man, OK? 
okay? Max off. Max, it's all right, pal. Look, this just is way too complicated for you. Why don't you go play with your pig or something? You see, I'm trying to find the reference to these gates here, and... Ugh, you just would not understand. Max off. Max, this is really advanced philosophical <laughs> literature here, okay? You can't just start pointing to... <laughs> Max, that's it! How did you... Need you in the helm, Wyatt. All right, y'all. We got some hell to raise. You got a boat full of noose, and I got a target. Fucking good one, too. Woo! Right on, boss. Yeah, that's where it's at. That's cool. All right. I dig. Check it out. I sent Specia ahead to this hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specie's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top-secret underground base where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged-out alien technology. I swear, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. That you mean? One of yours? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No. What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why she's good people? She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Mm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. Das Jüche. One of our biggest safe keeps. It was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeeping. Yeah. That's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Yeah, baby. That's where all those big shot jerks running the Nazi war machine hang out. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. This is why you need this for. This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Oberkommando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, you blow that shit the fuck up. Okay, Blaskowitz, look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. So, Americans, are you going to the concert tonight? Oh, Jeb here is. He's a, a big fan of DK for ain't you, Jeb? The music makes me happy. It's from that, Wayne. Nothing wrong with that, Jeb. I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now. Subject of the Great Führer. I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people your own. Yes, of course, sir. Mm -hmm. sure. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. You have a choice in this new world, because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh. Of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Dank. Dank. Yes. Out with it. Dank. Dank. <laughs> My God. <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. 
You're butchering my beautiful language. It's Danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, Danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Danke schön? I've heard enough. No more. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice hard. Oh, I will, sir. And I am so sorry. Beeindruckend. Wie bitte? Ich habe die Kerben an deinem Gewehrkolben gesehen. Ein beeindruckendes Ergebnis. Das sind keine Abschüsse. Die sorgen dafür, dass das Gewehr mir nicht wegrutscht. Ich habe Probleme mit schwitzigen Händen. Lichtblickausschlag an den Füßen. Wir sind doch hier nicht in Bayern. Mir gefällt's. Kaltes Bier nach Dienstschluss und die Welt ist in Ordnung. Hey, ich lade dich heute Abend ein. I got today's news for you right here, mister. Only one Reichsmark. Say, mister, you look familiar to me. Are you some kind of celebrity? Look at you people. Celebrating your own destruction. Just listen to that lovely marching beat. I'm so Papa Joe's All-American Diner. My kind of dive. Was hast du heute gelernt, Peter? I don't know. Stuff? Practice your German, dear. You'll need it. Was denn für Sachen? Das der Führer ist ein großer Autor und Maler. <laughs> Sehr gut, mein Junger. Bobby told me that the Führer painted the Mona Lisa. And that he made the atom bomb. And then he put my head in the toilet and flushed it. That's awful. Someone should teach young Bobby some manners. You can bet your behind his mother won't do it. I want you to promise me you'll stay away from him. 
Are you listening to me, Peter? Now, pick something from the menu. Oh, wish the secret police hadn't taken away the help. When will we ever get home-cooked meals again? Mom, can I have the chili? <laughs> sure can. Yes. If we ever get service in this godforsaken place. Hold your horses. Oh, hello there, sir. Please, have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? We're about to close, unfortunately. Oh, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz. Speshy knows you're coming to attack the Oberkommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello? Come on, Peter. Let's go someplace else. But, Mom, we no have any... But... Oh! Bitte schön. Danke. Good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is, too. Are you out of Station One? There you come, Dad. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> mm. Now you, show me your identification papers, please. Mm. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. Just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of Station 6. What is the location of Station 6? I'm, I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Commandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. I don't trust you, Blaskowitz. There's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskowitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I made the password that Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special. Lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come on, follow me. Um, welcome to Mission Control. That's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff, this shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind-reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part. You know? maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Smash? This place? 
My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Oh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. It was some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest, Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases, and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's the, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, it's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology, alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martian. No, okay, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien-based. It ain't space aliens. I talk. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are you are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 cargo train loading depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in this backpack to keep your hands free for shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains.
Caroline, you still copy? You think they can see I'm fading? Without your wings, I would fall. Oh, what the hell? They got rocket trains now.
second engine is on the tracks, get inside and fire it up, old man.
I'll grab the controls.
this in your pipe and smoke it. that nuke right up in their filthy Nazi nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby.